this is an introduction to lab number one uh, programming the Herco machining center, three axis machining center using Herco's Winmax CAM software. So, this is the screen here you would have started up in class, and the component that we're looking to uh, program in is this simple block. So, the drawing for the block is up on the Moodle page, and there's a printed handout. And in addition to the drawing, there's a set of notes detailing the commands to take to construct the block. So we're going to look at that now. So looking at the Winmax program, we're going to start off by doing a new file. So the program manager here on the left hand side on the toolbar, and we're going to do new file over using the hotkeys on the right hand side. We're going to go for conversational program, and we're going to it comes up as no name one. So we're going to do is quick save as. You need to make sure you know where you're, you're saving the file, and we're going to call this uh, lab1c for 18, and hit save. If we go back to the input screen here the, of the main program, uh, we can, from here we can start programming our component. So for example, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go straight into power programming. Uh, we can check, if you download the template file off the Moodle page, you will have a number of tools already in your in your your component so you can check the tools you have in your file you can see it an array of tools here as such so in order to check those you can hit the the tool the power program tool review and on select show only use tools and it will show you all the tools that are in the, the program in the library in addition you can hit tool setup over here on the left hand side and edit or change the tool settings that you have so quickly back to the input screen again that's kind of your home screen and we're going to go part programming so again this is covered in the notes uh, but we'll do it here first so part programming uh, we're going to do milling and we're going to do face so the top of the component and we're basically going to start at zero zero is our coordinate for the corner and we x length of the component if you look at the drawing it's 45 and the y length is a minus 50. The Z start from what we discussed in class is going to be 9.5 millimeters and Z bottom is going to be 9. We hit enter and we go on straight down through the tooling and we're going to select the tool from this. So I'm just going to use a wee end mill to face this off due to the, how small the component is. And we're going to set it that it moves in a bi-directional. So we're going to say Y bi-directional. Uh, the mill feed itself, we'll look at the notes and how we calculate them out later on, but I'm going to hit 200 in there, and I'm going to hit 1000 in there, but we'll have to calculate that later on. And the peck depth, I'm going to leave that at 0.5 millimeters. So now if I look at my, my program blocks here, we can see what blocks we've done. And we can quickly check the graphics, but just first of all, before we check the graphics, we're going to go to input screen again, and we're going to go part setup, more, stock geometry. And we're going to manually size the component. So manually stock sizing. It's a box. It's X length is 50. This is the stock material. And its Y length is 60. And Z length is 12 millimeters. And we do an offset like I described here in class. So our Z offset is uh, sliding that down. It's going to be 9.5. And our Y position uh, changes to minus 60. And our X Z position changes then to uh, 9.5. So this one here actually is zero. The X. So every time you fill in these, you can just hit Enter on the keyboard. Now I want to go to do my draw up here to simulate the operation. Draw operation and draw. And select view isometric. So you can see it's machined the surface, but it's only machined that rectangular we told it to, and it missed some of the block here. So we want to remove all of that. So that's no problem. We can go back to our data blocks double click in here and we're going to increase that to the actual stock size so the stock size was 50 by minus 60 and if we go simulate to draw and again draw and draw we can see now we remove all the material on the top of the component so to move on again we'll go back to our data our program review we can go to end of end of program and insert block before we're going to do now a new milling operation milling and we're going to do this time we're going to do a frame uh, so we're going to offset in the distance here so the x corner here we're going to actually offset 2.5 and the y we're going to do the same it's actually going to be a uh, minus 5. our x length is 45 and our y length is minus 50. 
So as we discussed in class, our Z star is going to be 9 and our bottom okay, is going to be 1. So we're machining down 8 millimeters, which is the distance of the part. We'll actually machine slightly longer, eight, we'll machine down 8.5 millimeters. We can set the corner radiuses to 5 as per the drawn. And the tool we're going to use for this is tool number 1 again, potentially, which is our 16 diameter end mill. We have an option now for the milling type, and we're going to use outside. Okay. And if we go to do our simulation now to check that, we can draw, draw, and draw top and then the sides so we don't have a peck depth allocated here so it machines it all in one operation which we wouldn't want in reality so if we go back to program review double click into middle frame and if we set the peck depth down to two millimeters and simulate it again draw graphics draw options and draw we can see it takes multiple passes to machine the part down the last block we want to do in this operation in order to achieve these four holes there are 40 millimeter and 35 centers so again we'll go back to program review end the program and insert block before 